Our recent wet weather is having a larger impact beyond just the drought outlook in Denver. Have you felt a bite in the air lately? A bite quickly followed by an itch. Colorado tends to have a pretty easy time with mosquitoes compared to a lot of states, but all the May snow and rain is bringing those little bloodsuckers out in force. Tom Cole has the story. This is the Metropolitan State University of Denver Mosquito Research Lab. And this is the Mosquito Man. So they're doing it. He sees mosquitoes a little differently than most. The viewer won't know this if you show any of this footage, but there's there's graphic sex right there. <laughs> These are not the pesky blood sucking insects we have in Colorado. These are tropical jungle mosquitoes. They're fabulous. Yeah. But Professor Bob Hancock loves them all and has 30 plus years of mosquito knowledge. He also has news about this upcoming mosquito season. And yes, it sucks. We actually have created in the state of Colorado a massive mosquito factory and that mosquito factory is called irrigation. Irrigation agriculture, it, it basically serves to breed billions, if not trillions of floodwater mosquitoes. So maybe it's best to head to the mountains for some relief. Maybe they don't like the snow. And when the snow melts, it hatches the eggs and the little larvae slowly grow up in icy water and they start to come out in mass, usually in July. The Mosquito Man is predicting a large presence of mosquitoes in the mountains come July and August. But there is good news. If you simply have to put up with a few mosquitoes buzzing you and biting you, just think for a minute though, this is all because of water. And boy, oh boy, do we need water. For next, I'm Tom Cole. Professor Bob Hancock from MSU Denver says you might see West Nile numbers increase. He says a lot of that is just increased surveillance of communicable diseases due to the pandemic. There are more people who are going to get checked out for what they think might be COVID, and it will actually turn out to be West Nile.